Right, so it's been, uh, I guess, you know, eight, nine months or so since you had a chance to compete. I guess what's the time away been like and, and the focus during it? It's been good. It's been good. Good to be back. I've been, I had hand surgery in November, right after the Tim Means fight. I hurt my hand. Um, but I've been waiting to fight since March. So Sean's been saying, you know, we have a fight any day. We have a fight any day. So I've been, you know, on the edge of my seat for March, April, May. I think we got this fight in May, June, July, uh, maybe late April. Um, but I'm ready. I've been ready to fight for for months. Um, I feel great. I feel great. It's been a long time, nine months. I was looking at the calendar like, yo. Um, but I've improved so much in those in those nine months, and I still improve. I improve every time. I'm really looking forward to Saturday. Any challenges in recovering from hand surgery? I mean, obviously those can be kind of lingering. Was yeah, I mean, it hurt. It hurt originally. Um, I mean, I think back in February, I mean, the hand surgery was pretty quick. I mean, first doctor I went to, oh, uh, you're fine. I'll see you in a week. And I was like, let me get a second opinion. I was directly saw my PT, Russ, over at Kime, and he's like, heck no. So he scheduled me with Dr. Pavandi. I saw Pavandi the next day. He's like, yo, we need surgery in the morning, yada, yada. So I'm glad I did. I'm glad I trusted my gut. Like, nah, this shit's messed up, so I like, fix that. Um, but I've been doing everything I can for it. I mean, even what they said, but holistically too, and all the different modalities to heal. Um, and while I had my hand, I worked everything else, just like, just like everything else. But I could hit, I could choke, I could post. I could squeeze, I could hold. So I could do everything I need to do. Um, but a good thing about it is I got a lot more precise because when I first got my hand back, I couldn't hit hard. So I had to hit like perfect and accurate. So rather than before, I felt like I was just clubbing this shit, just hitting skulls. I mean, Tim Means, I broke it dead center face and he's so tough. It's like fit, hit, hitting the wall. So now I'm hitting chins and temples, you know what I mean? Softer body. So it was a good thing. Very nice. Uh, all right, so you were ready to fight. You get this matchup. What did you think? I mean, you, you were kind of on this Legends tour, right? And then they go, you go from the Legends tour to let's give you this young kid. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, I was pissed at first. The first day, I was like, because, I mean, um, Kevin Holland fought um, Tim Means, and then his next fight, he headlined against Wonder Boy. So I was like, shit, I might get something good. Then I get freaking Michael Morales. I was just like, oh, man, what the hell? What is going on here? This is bullshit. So um, he's a young guy, undefeated. You know, I felt like they were trying to uh, feed me to the wolves. Well, not feed me to the wolves, but try to try to beat me. I've been seeing a lot of these vets. I've been, I've been smelling this vet shit for a while, vets versus rookies. They've been pairing a lot of guys for the last six months, a ton of them. This guy versus this young guy. This guy versus this young guy. Um... And then the Ultimate Fighter came out, you know, vets versus youngsters. I was like, I told you. So, but the thing is, I'm not the guy. I'm not, I'm not the old guy. Yeah, I'm 37, but I'm the best looking 37 you've ever seen, the best in shape, shredded, faster, smarter. I'm not these guys on the tail end, like, I'm thinking about retiring. I'm none of that. Um, I got paid five win bonuses in a row. I won a five-fight win streak. Um, yeah, I'm fighting this new guy. And like I said, I was upset at first. So I use that like a chip on my shoulder. Like, oh, they, they think they're going to beat me with this guy. They got some undefeated guy and they think he can beat me. F this guy. So I've been training with a chip on my shoulder with like fury, like just more and more and more. Um, but then I was walking or I was on a run before I left on Monday, just running in the sun, looking at the trees. And I had a message, man. I was like, I'm just running, I'm like, you know, smiling and shit, sun shining. And, and he's like, Max, you fool. This is a gift. Yeah, God or whatever was like, this, I got to make, this is a gift. You've been mad about this guy you've been getting. Um, this is a gift. Like, people think he's real good, in which he may be, but he's raw. Um, but the experience you've had in the UFC, beating former world champions, been in the room with the very best guys on the planet, and beat most of them, uh, dropped all of them, um, lost all splits. Like, um, I'm not that guy. 
I'm not that guy. So, you know, even to have him as a favorite, like, on what basis, you know? Um, even reach-wise, he's 79, I'm 77. Like, he's beating these guys because he's way longer than them. Um, he's only me this much longer than me. Um, so, yeah, so I looked at this as a gift now. I flipped my whole mind. This is a gift, Max. You're going to shine. You're going to smash this phone on ESPN on the main card in front of everybody, and you're going to smash his hype because people like him. Um, so that, that's what I got on my run on Monday at the perfect time because I find my best when I'm happy. So for, the, for me to get that instead of being like, fuck this motherfucker, which I still feel like that, but <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll be magic. It'll be beautiful. Um, I'm going to beat him everywhere. Striking, grappling, wrestling, cardio, heart, will, experience. I love it. This would be a big win. It would be a big statement. Uh, you've kind of flirted with the rankings a little bit. I mean, does, that, does it matter to you? Do you feel I like this should instill you? F about those rankings, man. <laughs> I don't care about them. Um, I've cared about them for so long. Um, you know, the Neil Magny bullshit. I mean, there's been – I mean, they, they, it's, it's political, man. But um, – it's, it's funny, when you kind of let shit go, that's when shit happens. You know, and you're like, you know, forget that shit. Even when I first got signed, I was like, F fighting. And I got signed that next day, that same day. So it's like, F those rankings. So we'll see, man. How long does it take to do your hair? If you get a good picture, it says Max and then Pain right here. So you could read it, you know? Um, this, we started at 10 o'clock and finished at, like, four. Like a six-hour ordeal. Yeah, damn. Well, it turned out fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Max, I want to talk a little bit about your music taste. I, I've seen on your Instagram and stuff like that the music that you, that you like to listen to, but entering into a fight and fight day, what, what are some of the bangers that you'd be listening to? Um... So fight day, I'd say the first, until the fight, I'm listening to all reggae. All, um, Marley Shahu, Damian Marley, um, Movado, some older stuff. Um, just to keep me in like a chill mode. But then when I'm out there, when, when I'm at the arena and I'm starting getting wrapped up, man, I'm listening to all my old shit, even the new stuff. I mean, 21 Savage. Um, the Sacramento shit, Brother Lynch, um, Yuck Mouth, the Bay Area stuff, E-40, Mac Dre. Give me back on my gangsta, because I did my gangsta shit when I was young, so it brings me back to, like, good mood, good spirits. Um, war, baby, you know? I'm glad you brought up the yay, because that actually segues into my next question. And being from Sacramento, NorCal, and all that, who would you be putting on your Mount Rushmore of West Coast rappers? Oh, there's five. <laughs> Is there five on Mount Rushmore? Um, shit. Are we talking Sacramento or just Bay Area? West Coast in general, entire California. West Coast, man. E40. E40's on there. Uh... Mac Dre's on there. Um, but I got to put Snoop Dogg on there um, for L.A. Um, shit. Um, shout out to my guy, Yuck Mouth. I got to put him on there. I Me and him is the homies. Who else? I know I'm missing someone big. Who am I missing? Playlist. Yeah, we'll stay at that. I know I'm missing, I'm missing someone. No cube or too short. Oh, you could put both them on there. You could put them on there. You could put both them on there. We was coasting. You could put them on there. I bet. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max uh, you mentioned when uh, you you know let shit go, shit happens. Will you be able to do that if you come victorious on Saturday and then people turn around and say? Well, of course he's supposed to win. He's a veteran. They're going to say that. I already know they're going to say that, you know. But it's going to be so bad, like, yeah, I want to, like, like make, make him pay. Like, no lucky shit. Like, B 
beat him up, beat him down, outclass him. Master class. If he gets, I, I want to f- maybe sub him, finish him. I don't know. Um, but if he gets knocked out, he can watch the video, you know. But I want him to remember he got beat up and remember, remember the levels of this because I'm not playing. And last for me, you, speaking of levels, you mentioned before, you know, just like the vets, young guys fight and being unhappy. Just alone when you touched on your five fight bonuses, how could you be unhappy with a quarter million and up? <laughs> no, I am, I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. I'm just saying, um, I mean, that was more rankings wise. You know, if they would have gave me that Neil Magny win, I'd be in the top 10. And I wouldn't be fighting this freaking new guy, especially these, these new guys that they like. I fought a few of these undefeated guys. I fought Zalim and Medayev, 8 0, all knockouts, sent him back in Atlanta. I fought uh, Zalim, uh, Ramiz Brahimai here, 8 0, all subs. He had the story about his condition or whatever. There's a lot of hype, and I took his freaking ear off. So I, I, I have a thing for these freaking new guys that I get offended. I get offended. So another guy. 14 and 0, fought Trevin Giles. That was a terrible fight, Trevin Giles. He beat, did good in the beginning, but burned his arms out, and then being sloppy, got knocked. And then Adam Fugit, on a week's notice, took him to the third round, had him in trouble a few times, you know, like he ain't fought nobody. And it's not even about who you all fought, but I am me. I am him. And I'm not the guy you want to fight when you're that raw, that new. Um, and look, Schedule, shrink of schedule, like, I'll touch back on that. He's fought all these guys in T-shirts in Ecuador, Mexico, wherever he fought from, these short guys. Like, he's going to have a fucking trouble. He's going to have a very bad night um, Saturday night. Thank you, Stern. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. With all this energy you have towards Michael, I mean, has there been any trash talk behind the closed doors between you two, or is it just part of the fight game for you? No, I really feel like this. Um... Yeah, I think for me it's more that they're sending a guy that they think could beat me and he's a favorite. I don't like that. I don't even know how he is even the favorite. Like, because he's younger? Like, I don't know. So my homies are cashing in, though. I'll tell you that. Cash that, baby. And I know you just expressed your feelings towards the rankings and all of that, but you also mentioned the Neil Magny situation. Is that something you want back in the future? No, I don't care about Neil Magny. Um, that really burned me though. Like to get to have Mick Maynard come back after the fight. You know, me and Dana thought you won. We're gonna pay you your money. You know. So in my mind, I'm like, I won. But then I didn't get the number. And then I don't know. I mean, Tim Means made up for it. Give me a guy like that. But um, I don't know, man. And uh, last one for me. There's an interesting fact about you. You said you wanted to be a Ninja Turtle when you grew up. I mean, uh, what yes. is that about? <laughs> Yeah, man, I did martial arts when I was young, um, from 4 to 13. And in those days, I mean, I did, I did Bak Fu, but we had the nunchucks, the size, the commas, and Ninja Turtles came out right then. So that was what I wanted to be. That was nine years of experience then. Um, and then 16 years now, so that's 25 years of training, fighting experience that I've had, 16 as an adult, nine as a kid. I've had more experience than this kid's been alive. So I'm going to do him.